The expression Italian popular music refers to the musical output which is not usually considered academic or classical music but rather have its roots in the popular traditions, and it may be defined in two ways. It can either be defined in terms of the current geographical location of the Italian Republic with the exceptions of the Germanic South Tyrol in the eastern portion of Friuli Venezia Giulia. Alternatively it can be defined as the music produced by all those people who consider themselves as Italians and openly or implicitly refer to this belief. Both these two definitions are very loose. Due to the complex political history of the Italian peninsula and the different independent political states, cultural and linguistic traditions which sprang within them, it is rather difficult to define what may be considered to be truly Italian. Since before the formation of a unified educational system and the spread of information through the radio and the press during the 20s, all the different cultural and linguistic groups within the country were independent from one another, and a unified Italian country was still only a political or ideological concept far from the daily life. The Fascist Period Affirmation of a national Italian culture, music and the artistic production of this period reflected the need of the political class to affirm its ideological statement of a united and strong Italian identity on both the political as well as cultural basis. Regional languages and independent cultural inheritances began to be slowly eradicated through the school system and the advent of the mass media, which at the time, were entirely controlled by the Italian government. Slow process of the industrialization which began during the fascist period had strong effects on the lower classes, it helped in forming the contemporary Italian society, in particular in the economical separation between the North and the South, which is reflected in the different references to the traditional background in the contemporary popular music. Emigration contributed to the exportation of the Italian musical background to other countries such as Argentina, Australia and the United States. 1948 to the late 1980s, slow evolution to new forms. During the second half of the 20th century, Italian popular music has seen a strong shift as a result of the influences foreign music had on the Italian musicians brought by the technological advances such as television, tapes vinyl. In particular the protests of the 1968 helped to form a new group of musicians in contrast with the stereotypes of the musical egg era and open to new musical forms. Foundation of musical leg era during the 50s and early 60s, e.g., Domenico Modugno, Adriano Celentano, Mina, Mia Martini, Gino Paoli, San Remo Festival, music of the 68 and the modern Italian troubadours, e.g., Fabrizio de Andre, Francesco Guccini, Francesco de Gregory, Giorgio Gabba. Opposition with the traditional musical leg era, e.g., Celentano, Mina, Toto Cutugno, Gianni Morandi. New direction of the late 1970s, e.g., progressive rock, Franco Battiato, La Orme, Lucio Dalla, rock legero of the 1980s and 1990s, e.g., Vasco Rossi, Piero Palu. Contemporary music, rock and pop Italian pop and rock has produced many stars including Laura Pausini, Eros Ramazzotti, Mango, Max Petzolai, Biagio Antonacci, Antonella Venditti, Lucio Dalla, Pu Adriano Celentano, Mina, Andrea Bocelli, Romina Arena and Eliza, also a popular singer as Viola Valentino. The modern pop music tends towards sentimental ballads with a crooning vocal style, though it used to be unique in its blend of Mediterranean folk rhythms with pop forms. These folk ear pop artists included Lucio Battista, Vasco Rossi and Pino Daniele. Modern and young emerging artists falling within this genre who have acquired public success for their voices include Alessandra Amoroso, Emma, Arisa and Noemi to name a few. During the 1960s and 70s, Italian popular music changed by incorporating Latin American and Anglo musical traditions. 
especially Brazilian bossa nova and American and British rock and roll. The same period saw diversification in the cinema of Italy, and Cinecita films included complex scores by composers including Ennio Morricone, Armando Trovioli and Piero Umiliani. The film music remained popular in the 70s, and then underwent a revival in the 1990s. Italy was one of the leading nations of the progressive rock movement of the 70s, the others being Germany and the United Kingdom, and its progressive scene was quite big, united and lively. The main Italian style of progressive rock was symphonic rock mixed with Italian folk music influences, e.g. Banco del Mutuo Soccorso, La Orme, Premiata Forneria Marconi, Pu, Il Balletto di Bronzo. There were also some experimental rock bands around, e.g. area. Progressive rock concerts were usually political events with an energetic atmosphere, e.g. area had mainly extremely left-winged political lyrics. Beginning in the 1980s, pop grew more heterogeneous and more in line with international sounds. Italian house music band Black Box first single, Ride on Time, was an international hit, making top 10 in many countries and no one in the UK. The UK's best-selling single of 1989, Zucchero is a leading Italian rock musician along with Luciano Ligabu and Vasco Rossi. Giovanotti is a widely popular singer mixing elements of dance music with Italian popular music and rap. Other prominent rock bands include Litfabar. In the 2000s, dance music group DB Boulevard with vocalist Mooney charted at number three on the UK singles chart in 2001. Their song, Point of View, the video accompanying of the song featured a computer-animated cardboard woman driving a cardboard car through a cardboard city. The song earned D.B. Boulevard the distinction of being the first Italian music group to be nominated in the MTV Europe Music Awards. Electronic and dance music techno, trance, and electronica are all popular forms of electronic dance music in Italy. The country is home to genres such as Italo dance, Italo house, and Italo disco. Gabri Pont, Eiffel 65, Gigi backquote Agostino. Benny Benassi, Hip Hop The Italian hip hop scene began in the early 1990s with Articolive 31 from Milan. Their style was mainly influenced by the East Coast rap. Other early rap groups are typically politically oriented crews like 99 Posse. More recent artists include Fabri Fiber and Club Dogo. Return to Tradition, Pachanka, Following Durandre. Many artists are rediscovering the forms of traditional music abandoned since the fascist period as a sort of traditional revival, including Tazenda and Teresa de Sio. There are bands in Italy that play Pachanka music, characterized by a mixture of traditional music, punk, reggae, rock and political lyrics. Modena City Ramblers are one of the more popular bands, they mix Irish, Italian, punk, reggae and many other forms of music. Other bands include Casa del Vento, Mau Mau, Banda Bassetti and Talco, Jazz. The most important jazz scenes are in Rome and Milan, however many Italian jazz musicians are resident in Paris. Italian instrumentalists include saxophonists Stefano Di Battista and Francesco Caffiso, pianists Danilo Ryan, Stefano Bolani, trumpet players Paolo Fresu and Enrico Rava. Palermo also has a lively jazz scene, including Enzo Rao, who have added native Sicilian influences to American jazz.